Coming in at number five is uh, Hello Kitty Happy Party Pals for the Game Boy Advance. Uh, the aim of the game is to uh, plan parties in Hello Kitty's neighborhood. Uh, you make pancakes and stuff and you walk around and you give people stuff. To be honest, I never beat the game as a kid. Um, I was always really confused why I had to start over every single goddamn time. Uh, apparently they give you passwords for uh, every time you beat a level. Or progress to a new level. I didn't know that as a kid, because I was a dipshit. So, uh, yeah, it's number five. It's a good game. Uh, would I play it again? Yeah, probably. Awesome game. Oh yeah, uh, number four is Pokemon Pinball Ruby and Sapphire. Uh, I had this game when I was a kid because it had Pokemon in it, but to be honest, I didn't fucking have a clue how pinball worked. I, I didn't get this shit, to be honest. I know I had to hit the ball when it got to the levers, but I just never was able to do it. Uh, I think you catch Pokemon in this, which to be honest, I don't actually remember ever doing, so I was probably just really shit at this game as a kid. But yeah, it's number four because it has Pikachu right there and it has uh, little Lion Noons as well. I swear I've never caught a Pokemon. I don't fucking know that. Yeah, it's number four. Better than Hello Kitty. I'd rather play this than Hello Kitty, to be honest. Uh, yeah. Uh, number three is uh, Dr. Seuss's The Cat in the Hat for GBA. <laughs> really bad platformer. Um, really hard. Don't know why it was that hard. Uh,. Yeah, no. Terrible. Don't play platformers. Platformers are for degens. But, uh, yeah, it's number three, because I actually really liked playing it. Because I had nothing else to do in my life. Because I was a sad, sad child. But yeah, number three. Oh, shit. Those guys always killed me. Holy shit. Ken the Hat. Okay, okay. Now this is some heat. This is a good game. Dora the Explorer, The Search for Pirate Pig's Treasure. <laughs> Such a good game. I mean, I, I don't think there's a better game. Actually, there's a better game, because it's not number one, it's number two. But yeah, really hard. Um, I do remember beating it. Uh, the one time I went on vacation with my family when I was like five or six, I remember beating this. Um, yeah, no, really fun. Uh, scary too, to be honest. The thing is like a dark forest level, really spooky. Or when you're in the cave and there's bats, fucking frightening. And you can also play as boots. Holy shit, this game was sick as fuck. Um, yeah, it's a good game. And, I mean, <laughs> there's no question about who would be number one. It's Finding Nemo for the GBA. Such a good game. I mean, a, a, a difficult game. I had my mom beat the hard levels for me. Or if it was a puzzle, or like you're in tubes and shit, you're like in a maze, you had to move rocks around, that shit was too hard for me. But a good game. There's a lot of uh, chase levels. There's like a... Uh, a following levels? I mean, it's all great. I was scared when playing this game. I was happy when playing this game. I was... I, I mean... <laughs> it's just a good game all around. Also, the music wasn't bad either. Good game. Number one. Best GBA game of all time, I'd say. I still hear your voice when...